Well, hello there, everybody. How are you doing? So good to see you. Yeah, we're running a few minutes late, but heck, you know, that's what it's all about. We can't always be bound by that clock. That thing that we say that time is relative, well, you know, but anyway, uh, welcome, everybody. It is uh, Wednesday, I do believe as I'm getting here, getting the bus going. So y'all talk amongst yourself, smoke them if you got them, and uh, I'll just speak favor over you. Uh, on this day, we're going to have fun. This is going to be a continuation of the phenomenal interview that we had two weeks ago with JD. That was, you know, the buffering thing. I think that was intentional. Just going to tell you. Gnosis. Gnosis of the truest form is something that they don't want out there. They don't want it out broadcast because then other people begin to see it. So anyway, uh, favor over us all, nothing missing, nothing broken. I say it all the time because uh, I create what I speak. And so, you know, yeah. So if it's here, that's cool. But I have a sense that it's also bridging something over there. But anyway, thank you to all the moderators and all the rest of folks, because we're going to have a strap in, folks. That's all I got to tell you. It's, it's going to be fun. So uh, there is a new person with us because I thought the balance of the feminine needed to be more, you know, kind of interesting point of view. I mean, just... Mm -hmm. JD, I mean, I think you can agree with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And I love Nina so much. <laughs> so, of course. <laughs> See, that's my point. Uh, by the way, uh, I've put both of their contacts information underneath. Thanks, Nina, for supplying that. And if you're not subscribed, you should be. And um, that's the best way of saying, hey, really, really dig what you got to say. Because it's a different perspective, and I think it's really good. So, Nina, thank you for being on, hon. How have you been? Haven't seen you in a little bit. I know. It's been a minute. Yeah, I'm yeah. doing great. Yeah, doing great. Yeah. Keep, keep well, you're looking away. beautiful as ever. So, you know, still got that smile. Yeah. I love that. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> and, oh, well, I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey, Max Vision is in here. How are you doing, brother? A lot of people in here. So, you know, I'll say hi to y'all. Hey, Ballot, how you doing? So, JD, talking to you, you are not where you were because you are somewhere else, but where you are is what you were talking about. So, Good to see you again. And why don't you tell us where you are and what's going on? I am at my two dear brothers' home. Uh, these are fellow sorcerers and and business partners of mine. I mean, we do a, everything together. Um, you know, as far as uh, like our spiritual path goes. And this is, I'm talking about J.S. Garrett and Rick Douglas. They are lawless metaphysics, which you can see back here behind me. I get uh, it. I totally get it. I told yes. him when I first saw that, I said, I got that. I mean, yes. You know, and, and, and that is really, you know, it's like the essence of Belial, Beliel, Poseidon. Like he is the, the lawless one. And, um, you know, we are certainly uh, living in a world where, we like, you know, you know, we like the, the control mechanisms and everything that are in place. This is all about freeing yourself from all of that. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you know, but so I, I'm up here. I mean, what is the experience of life for if it's, you know, isn't amazing? And I know I'm digressing here, but it just adds to the conversation. And Nina, if you ever have something, just jump right on in. The water is just fine. Um, but we, we we live our lives in a confined boundary and we're allowed to see if you want to take it from a metaphysical point i guess four different points of view five if you look them forward but that's it the lawless aspect the uh i remember paul said in his writings that uh law lawlessness is a law into itself and i went huh so I went, well, okay, well, what does that mean? He also said that everything is permissible. Not all things are profitable. So anyway, 
And so, uh, yes, and, and I, so I'm here, I'm here in Georgia with them and um, in the mountains, it's freaking beautiful here. I really Snowing? needed the energy to get like, to, to be renewed. And I, and I do feel renewed being here. Um, and so, uh, you know, I'm going to be really spending a lot of time here between Richmond, between Washington, D.C. and between Georgia um, and Utah as well. Uh, we know there's going to be a lot going on. Uh, this place where we are here now is a beautiful retreat center where you will be able to come and work with me directly, work with Rurik, work with JS, um, experience live, hands on, real. Well, it's black magic, baby. Okay. And this is what it is, but it's freaking beautiful and it will change your life. Um, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it, it's if it's something that you can't come here and, and meet us in person, then you can connect with us through the mechanisms of our group rituals that we offer uh, in one-on-one -on -one rituals. But, um, you know, healing, uh, magical ritual, uh, there's other elements involved that will really help to, uh, <laughs> to help you ascend spiritually and to access those higher planes of consciousness. Um, you know, working with me, that will happen for you. Um, I can't really explain like <laughs> everything to you because of course, like it's so crazy. I don't even fully understand it, but I do know that I have something. I don't know what it is exactly, but I have a gift and I will certainly share it with each and every one of you. Um, it's not something to be entered into lightly though. I will tell you that because it will it will change your life and your reality. Absolutely, it will. Um, it's not a movie, but it's a uh, it's a lot like a movie. You know, if you want your life to be like a movie, like get involved with me and these guys and Nina too. Like she'll tell you. Like Nina, Nina, Nina performs real freaking powerful magic. Yeah, she does. <laughs> and and I, I got to be candid. I I did not know that to the death. So. Nina, you, you've been awfully quiet. So here's an opportunity because, well, you know, a lot of people are going to be hearing this. And I think probably some are going to say, well, you know, that kind of makes sense, you know, but others will probably go, I had no idea. So the two of you um, have worked before and successfully. Mm -hmm. And so I'll let y'all pick it up from there. I mean, you know, that's, I think this is cool. This is really far <laughs> out. Do you want to start it off, Nina, and talk about things, or what do you want to do? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where you want to go with this, but yeah, we kind of we kind of met, we kind of came on the scene, I think, around the same time, mm -hmm. like way back. It's been years now, so yeah, uh, very interesting. I guess our common, uh, you know, place will be become a living god. For those mm -hmm. who know what that is, um, it's not for everyone. Obviously, you know, it is uh, a little bit out there. But it is definitely effective. Um, it works. It's real. And uh, yeah, it's. So let me ask the two of you on this, because the, the, the question, because I got I got a number of emails from the last the first time you were on JT. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, well, you know, and, and, and when you see a cognitive disconnect then you know, you got something, you know, because it was like what the freak is the, what? <laughs> um, so um, <clears throat> when, when you talk about being out there, what are we talking about? Because there has to either be a fear or an aversion. And that is something that probably goes against what people have in their core beliefs that form their matrix. Yeah. So what are we talking about when we say out there? I mean, I feel like that we are absolutely opening portals and gateways um, that are bringing in different dimensional realities and overlapping them with this one. Like when you really get into this and you open yourself up to these entities, these infernal divines, these these demons, I mean, these these. These demons are ancient gods. They are ancient gods. Let's talk about that. So Can we get into it a little bit? Yes. So, you know, I, I've had people, you know, I, my the, the Christians that we knew in my past life, they you know, they turned me over to the devil, quote unquote. Um, but I know that demons is what we've construed in a modern day 
false belief systems. These, I call them the divine ones. Yeah. And that's with exab- absolutely what they are. I yeah. mean, you know, like, you know, I have a lot of background in religion. Um, I have, you know, like I told you the other, like last time we talked, I mean, I, I have, I've been to Baptist church, Presbyterian church, Nazarene, um, you know, Catholicism. Heavily we got to talk, J.D., heard. in another to- time. It's, it'd be interesting to talk on a theological, like for, for Baptists. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. I mean, this is like, this is so far to the extreme. I mean, I mean, you, they, you know, you're one step from them putting you up to the stake. Yeah. But anyway. I, absolutely. I, I mean, you know, if I lived in a different day and time, I mean, I know that, you know, my my life would be in danger way more than it is now. And you don't think it's not now? Yeah, it is. I know people are watching me. I know people are knowing what I do. And, How y'all doing? Um, you know, and I know it's just a matter of time, but I also know that they can't hurt me and they can't cage me. Uh, we'll get into that later on too, but um, <laughs> they'll try to do it. They're going to try. And you, you know that. I know that too. I know my day is coming at some point, but I know that they're not going to be able to touch me too, but I know they're going to try. But, but uh, anyway, so you, like, you, 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 and then that's the thing about it is, you know, and I always found the interesting thing about the uh, Solomon uh, keys that these deities, he recognized that. And the question I was curious, I'd like to ask both of you, when I talked yesterday about the soul, about a spirit actually possessing a soul, uh, I came in, in my thought was immediately, well, then, is the soul unique to what we are as opposed uh, as to those residents that are in the ethereal realm all the time? It's a hard one to answer, you know, and and it's, it's, Oh, it goes so deep. And and I know. Well, I got a rope and it only goes 300 feet. And after that, we're on our own. (laughs) (laughs) And, 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 you know, when when you open yourself up to the, you know, like I hope, Wayne, that we'll get to meet in person one day and I can perform a ritual for you and and your wife too, if you like. But like to really experience this, um, (laughs) if if you think you've had a religious experience or a spiritual experience, I can guarantee you, I will blow the lid off of anything you've ever experienced. And it's not, it's not me. I'm just opening the doorway here. And I'm, I am just calling these energies forth. And I have the ability to do that as well as my, my brother, Rick Douglas and JS Garrett and Nina too. We have the ability once you tap into this, (laughs) they will, they will just, they will come into this reality and, and really, show you something at a at a deep soul level that you cannot deny and it is something that once you experience it you begin to remember like who you are and like where you come from and that that this is right this is just this there is nothing wrong with this and <laughs> not at all and that is too like once you engage in that way then you really do begin to see the bull crap lie that that religion is and what it's been doing to you, what it's doing to the world, what it's doing to the children, what the blood that's been shed, the, uh, the atrocities that are too numerous to name. And like, it's still happening. It's still happening. And like, that is sad. And, and you know, what is this all about? liberating yourself, liberating your soul, experiencing true spiritual freedom instead of oppression. That's the thing is that like these people, they don't even realize that they're being oppressed and they, that they're slaves. And I'm sorry, I don't want to use this language, but how else are we going to describe the reality of what's happening to you in our world? It is what it is. <laughs> What's the benefit to a person? Because, I mean, I had someone actually write this and said, what's the benefit of an individual to be a exposed to this type of knowledge, but to take that leap of faith and say, all right, uh, because no matter how you look at it, there's no safety net here. Let me yeah. just tell folks that there is no so you take that step and 
there ain't no turning back. That's right. <laughs> and you have to be afraid and you got to lean into that. So I'm what is afraid. the benefit to an individual to take that first step? Um, really, what are the spirits going to do? Are they going to require something of us or is this? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. They are definitely going to require something from you and they always do. And it's, and it's things that don't serve you in the first freaking place. You know, what do they want? What do they want? They want you to liberate yourself from the shadows that dominate your reality, the things that you've been through, your trauma in the past that you hold on to, that that's the real evil, that's the real demons, the ones that like, yeah, they've helped shape and mold you into who you are now. But like, there's certain things that you don't need to hold on to anymore that are actually hurting you. And that is what they help to unlock inside of yourself and to identify these dark things, these really dark things, these things that you gave license to a long time ago that are now like wreaking havoc in your life that you continue to perpetuate and engage in. And sometimes you don't even know it. And they will, they have a way of bringing these things to the light, you know, like that is what Lucifer is all about going in there and shining that light in the shadows and the things that try to hide from you forever. And, and uh, that is what really kills people and takes them away from this place in a bad way is those things that hide within. And that is really ultimately, it's shining the light on truth. <laughs> mm -hmm. on the truth, you know, and, and like these things are hard to visit. These things are hard to go in there and take a look at it. Most people do not want to look at it. They want to run from it. They want to run to that God and say, save me from myself. Like, no, no, you are not getting out of this one, buddy. Like you, the only way out is through. And that is what these spirits will help you to do, to navigate that path. They will walk not in front of you, not behind you, beside you and show you how to walk, how to walk like a man, how to walk like a woman, how to freaking move forward in your power, in your power. Right. Yeah, so you were talking, J.D., I was. I you know that that there was a transformation that took place within me, you know, when I was doing the library Lilith and she mm. visited, she visited oh. twice. Mm -hmm. um, my life. It was not my life. It, there was something within the spirit aspect of me. There was a, a profound change because, well, number one, when you hand write an old book like that, and there, there is, well, there, there, there's heavy incantations in there. There, but mm -hmm. the knowledge is what liberated myself because for the first time, mm -hmm. I'm hearing the story of what in the former life I had where I only heard one story. Yeah. I heard a lot of accusations on the other side that they were responsible for this and this and this, but I never heard their side of it. And, and, and the thing about it is we're all indoctrinated as we come in here for some reason that you're going to only hear one particular side and it has many different shades, many different variations, but it's still the same story that's going to point to the fear that there's a knowledge that you shouldn't know of. Because once you know it, you know it, there, there's no way of ridding yourself. Yes. And that is the thing with this too. Yes. Once you know, and once you see, yeah, you're not undoing that. <laughs> And no, is, no, uh, you're not. For some people, that's a tough pill to swallow, but it's <laughs> needed. It's needed. It's, it's needed. Nina, what about yourself? I mean, there's obviously, you know, a path here that um, I'm, I have to say, I'm just pleasantly surprised the depth of that. So talk a little bit. I mean, what was your challenge in taking that step? <clears throat> well, coming out of Christianity, of course, I got a huge background in that as well. Actually, matter of fact, the Baptist church is where I was. So That's what I'm know, talking about. <laughs> you know, so once I, you know, got out of that, of course, I went complete opposite. I want to go and check out the complete opposite. Of course, it's the first thing I'm going to do. And uh, that's kind of where I stayed. Now, going back to what you guys were talking about, like, you got to remember that these beings are, like you said, ancient gods. 
but they, um, you know, have been demonized by the church. The church doesn't want you to know about them. Matter of fact, one of the first things that God said was, there's no other gods before me, which Bingo. really he's telling you that there is other gods then, isn't he, right? There, there's not just him. And if you go and read into uh, the beginning of the Bible, actually, they talk about Azazel was right there with Yahweh. They were making sacrifices to both of them. They were hanging out. They're buddies. And yeah, they still do. They still they do still it. They still do. <laughs> Right. But the Christians, they can't look, they can't even read that whole section. They all just bypass that. It's kind of like the Baptist church bypassed the whole thing about speaking in tongues. Oh, no, we're not allowed to talk about that. We, we're not even going to mention that. Yeah. You know, like it's, they pick and choose whatever it is that they want. Right. And and so um, once you can get it past that, you'll see, oh, OK, they're not as bad as they are made out to be essentially so and you know what i find so funny <laughs> what i find so hilarious <laughs> is that like all of these church leaders and like especially the vatican and all of them hey the vatican is doing some really effed up things but no, that's, you that's know but, 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 but like who, <laughs> who like anyone that is that is ultra powerful in this world now they can work with some of these spirits in a in a in a foul way they're going to pay the price for that, as you know. But like, what do you think everyone's doing? Hello. Who do, who do you think everyone is working with? Hello. Like, no, it is all <laughs> behind the scenes and it's happening. It is happening, Jack. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> it, it, and, you know, for myself, it, I got to tell you, it's becoming more and more difficult for to continue to see, and I, I, I call it part of the God spell. These people are literally under a spell. Yes. And, 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 and you see this. I mean, I, I, I don't have fear of Lucifer. I don't have fear of Lilith. I mean, to me, they got hosed. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. And, you know, when I found their story, my journey for in, in search of Lucifer, um, Satan, to find out, all right, so if these are these bad mofos, I mean, obviously, they must have a, 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 a rap sheet somewhere, right? Some things that they said. What, I couldn't find anything that validated the indictment that had been put against them. And once I said, screw this, I said, you know, I still contend my 50 years in Christianity was my initiation. And that's what it was. It was an initiation that I wasn't even aware of, at least on one level, maybe on a higher level. And what I've come to find out, it's respect. Yes. And what I don't have is any respect for the former uh, consciousness that occupied the penthouse of my esteem estate. And, and, and I think that I evicted him. him. I'm sorry, Wayne. No, no. I just said, I evicted the sorry ass. I said, get your <laughs> ass out of here. I, I, I think that people, you know, need to, to just take a step back and, and, you know, and remember that Yahweh, this, this God that has been placed upon a pedestal through Christianity that's not the creator. That's not no. who created you, okay? And you need to remember that one. Okay? Well, this son of a but, bitch cursed us. Yeah. I can't absolutely. find Satan or Lucifer ever cursing humanity. I can't find any of the divine ones who have ever cursed humanity. But I have it written in a book that this son of a bitch lit out there and literally not did it once, but cursed the earth, cursed us, cursed woman. I mean, and yet you want me to sacrifice? my worship and look at how many people have Hit the road you have, asshole. have how many people have died and how many people have been literally sacrificed and how much blood has spilled in the name of that that deity in the name of allah like do you know and realize like why all of that blood is being spilled to empower that deity to empower that the, 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 the energy of it here, there has been so many blood sacrifices in the name of so much innocence, so many, 
how many, I can probably count on one hand how many times that's happened in the name of Lucifer or Satan, actually. Yeah, there are some sick people that have done some bad things, a few, a few bad apples. Yeah. There has been literally billions with a B, probably trillions with a T of people that have died in the name of Allah, in the name of Yahweh. Think about it. Well, they, and they don't, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, beginning of Christianity, that's what it was like. You, you either convert or, right? We were forced into it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, the, it was either so, your head or you know yeah. compliance. And and the thing about it is, and all of us can relate to this. When I started finding out who Baal was, and actually started reading outside the canonized uh, uh, word that you know you're only were allowed to go so far because after all. You're not smart enough to understand this. And you, you you trace this thing back. And then here, I'll just tell you what sealed the coffin for me were the Samaritan tablets. Where the hell is Yahweh in there? I read about Enki. I read about Enyel. I, run to, I, I read about Awe. I mean, I can't find this Yahweh character in the religion that was exist or the, the record of nearly 2,000 years. And from what I understand from it then is, you know, and I know this may not be entirely accurate, but um, that Yahweh is really Ares, which is a god of war, which was a popular god that was worshipped by Roman soldiers for a very long time. Um, they needed something to use as their figurehead in this new religion that they were going to be using. And, oh, Ares, the god of war. Oh, yes, let's use that one. And so do people even realize in Christianity what they are actually worshiping? A god of war. Oh, yeah, go fucking figure that one, right? Mm, look at the world and what's happening. Oh, yeah, we're definitely in it. <laughs> well, I mean, and we're about that. to experience yeah. the, uh, the Easter celebration. And yet no one will actually, and once you do, you're going, are you serious? I mean, so Easter is the goddess of prostitution. Okay, I get the eggs now. <laughs> I mean, I totally get it. Uh, but uh, yeah, so getting back to this whole, uh, I've been challenging any Christian that there are a few that drop in. I said, so tell me, is the New Testament God the Old Testament God. Because Seems to be different, doesn't it? <laughs> what, yeah, I, what, yeah, I don't even think we're in the same galaxy. I mean, maybe it's got split personalities or something. You know, it's not. <laughs> uh, well, you think about an angel. I mean, yeah. you know, I, there, there are people who are Christians who invoke and worship, you know, Gabriel, Michael, but, you know, those two characters, their rap sheet where human blood is concerned is deep. I mean, deep. And again, I can't find these demons in any incident where they're coming down at the command of their God, this case Yahweh, the Father, and goes and wipes out 180,000 men, horses, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it, and, it, and, this, and, and you're telling me that I'm wrong <laughs> pursuing stuff of the black magic going into the occult? Really? Because I don't know. Maybe it's just me, Nina. I, I'm looking at this and I'm going, this doesn't make any sense. I mean, this is the epitome of the definition of ignorance. But it's so taboo. This was all put in place after one meeting. Just one meeting uh, is, is brilliant, actually, when you when you think of it that way. But we need to get rid of it now. It's it's time to go. Yeah, I, I, and that's the thing. I mean, I've yet to see in any of case on these these holy wars where righteousness and the red, white, and blue, and we're all the uh, the, the 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 standard. And I'm going, really, really? How many people have died because of this? How and much blood like, is shed out on the battlefield? And you can look at this too, you know, like from the beginning, back when we were ancient people, we were scratching these symbols on rock walls, you know, like channeling these entities or scratching these symbols on it, rubbing blood into it, bringing their 
essence here to this reality. We didn't even have any written words. We didn't even understand language, right? Things began to be written and we began to read these words. And now we are all convinced that the only way that we know how to live this life is through the instruction of these written words that tell us what and how to do and how to think and what to how to live. We've forgotten what we already know. We know what to do. It's instinctually inside of us, how to live, how to survive, how to worship, how to do this. It's all there. But once we bring it, brought words and language and text into it, now we are led to believe that we have to follow that, right? We got to follow yeah. these words. Where did these words come from? I don't know, but like, yeah, it's... Well, yeah, there's a guidebook, right? But is that guidebook actually accurate? No, it's really not. Now, there is some nuggets of truth in everything. Yes. I think that like we've just like literally like just put everything into that, you know, and like that that's always been there, right? It's all no, it has not. <laughs> it's not always been there. And it is something that. Well, it's like the Ten Commandments. Yeah. That is a fallacy. It was never 10 commandments. At best, it was 10 symbols. But again, and this is what you look at this and you can see how so how craftedly this construct has been built. Because, you know, that is that's what we define as morality. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not, you know, blah, 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 blah. But yet, and within every incident that I saw, what thou shall not do, thou did. Yeah, yeah. except yeah. for him, of course. He yeah, was- it's like, well, yeah, do as I say, not as I do. Okay. I heard that one a lot. Yeah, and isn't it true? Yeah. Um, so, J.D., uh, a question that was asked, hey, Trina, how you doing? And Chloe, everybody. Hey, Trina. Um, <laughs> what has been... What has been your most rewarding experience in working with the divine ones? Oh, and, and and have they have it, one person asked, did they originate here on earth or did they exist in another place in time? How did they get here? Well, that's a good, that's a great question too. Um, I mean, I, I think that, they, I mean, of course they exist where our consciousness exists somewhere outside of this dimension uh and it's it's a you know we we it, 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 that's a hard one to elaborate on but I, I you know have they always been here i think so but you know like do we all originate here no this is just our playground right now um and our consciousness their consciousness exists wherever that is which probably is really just what God is that mother, that, that, that mother, father, uh, consciousness, that, that divine feminine, masculine conglomerate. I think they are all a part of that. They're all a part of us. Um, you know, if, if you really look at and you break it down like personality traits and different ways of being this, like they're a little speck of like everything that we are and we're a little speck of everything that they are. Um, and so it's, it's all a big part of one thing, so to speak. I, I believe, um, you know, it, it, but like the most rewarding thing for me is just to be like able to help other people like finally come to terms with the illusion of this reality and to be okay and comfortable with it. And to know that like, <laughs> that your soul is eternal. It can never be destroyed. This, you already hold the keys to eternal life absolutely you do and like this what is happening right now is only a teeny little fraction of your overall existence and experience that is basically never ending it will never end this is going to be something this is an adventure that your soul will grow from infinitely you know and and like this you know, this is not something that you have to hold on to and put every little speck of everything in. This is just a little piece of the whole big experience. And I think like, once you realize that, 
that really helps you to traverse the limitations and to see that anything is possible. It actually is. Those movies that you watch on TV that would be, wow, it would sure would be nice to have a life like that. It should it sure would be nice to live in a world like that. That is actually possible. Everything that we are living in now, the wars, the suffering, um, the poverty, all of that stuff can literally be eradicated from your reality and my reality, bringing the world here that we actually want and deserve to live in. That's happening. That's the world I'm going to be living in. And I hope that all of you get to come with me and experience that because like all of that darkness that we're experiencing, that is a lie. It's not even real. <laughs> it's not even actually Bingo. happening, really. It's not. It's not. And, and, and you can latch onto that if you want to and just put everything into that and just be miserable and suffer. But you don't have to, man. You don't. And like when you realize that and you just change your perspective and start focusing on the real, the truth, the good stuff in life, the people that you love and taking care of them, taking care of yourself, loving yourself, loving this world, even the bad parts of it. But hey, you're going to usher in like the golden age, true, actual bliss. You can have it. Mm -hmm. My spirit guide told me that there's been a reason why knowledge like this has been repressed. Knowledge like this has only been allocated to some of the virtual unknown mystery schools. There is a knowledge that's been highly protected because it, it does just that. It can it it literally trans transforms the individual. Yeah. Um, I recently in one of my meditations was told that. The interesting thing about us is that when we transition to the other side, many of us will go on. And that's something that the divine ones, the angelics, envy about us because they're, they are where they are. For us, there are realms that haven't even been written about. They can't write about them because they, they've never been there. It's kind of what I was told. It's kind of the reward for going through this realm mm -hmm. and yes. being able to what we would call ascend. It's really just we go to a place that's not even been written about. And, and you know, like everyone that is here in this incarnation now in this particular time, especially like in Earth's ex like uh, experience, you are a spiritual warrior. Do not misunderstand what you are, why you're here. And yes, you do have a, an extremely important mission to accomplish. What is your life? It is not haphazard. It is not bull crap. It is precious and it is important. And that's why it's important that you embrace your birthright, that you do understand and come to grips and terms with who you actually are and not hide from it. Because like, so many people like you do have guides you do have demons that are basically assigned to you you made that decision you made that choice you may not know who they are and be familiar with them and a lot of them working with you giving you that prize they are going to really like if your life has been very very tough for a long time and you've gone through a lot of pain and suffering that demon was trying to hide the truth of who you actually are from you to make you have to work to find out the truth. And there, and that's the funny thing. They love you, but they're going to keep you dancing around, not knowing and discovering, making it hard for you. When you finally do discover who you are, they cheer for you and they say, right on, motherfucker, you figured it out. Despite my best efforts to keep <laughs> you from finding the truth, you did it. You did it. You did it, buddy. And now guess what? This is your actual birthday. Now we're ready to do it. Now, since you know who you are, you know who I am now too, don't you? And we can do this together. We can party now, buddy. And so that, that is the gift. That's the gift of finding out who you are, of understanding, yeah, the pain, the suffering, all that crap. Yeah, it wasn't all for nothing. That was, mm-hmm. You, you get where I'm coming from, and that's true. You know what I'd like to do? Because, you know, 
we've we've given time and recognition on the one side of these called angelics but i don't think i know of a channel out there there may be one if you know of one let me know that i think that i would like to give them the divine ones the opportunity to come forth and allow us to get to know who and what they are yeah because they're my, they're my buddy Rurik over here can definitely help with that he is an amazing channeler he love uh-huh let's let's get, i'd love to have him on uh yes. and maybe we could do uh hey, a, a format hi? like this can you say hi to you real quick come here sure <laughs> he's beautiful because i just wanted to say hi to you uh this guy this guy is amazing he's a good friend of mine he's my brother come over here and his name <laughs> and so um I would love to have him to uh, come on with you at some point and talk about these things because he is amazing. Uh, this is this is Rurik Douglas. He is Rurik. part of uh, of Lawless Metaphysics. Ah, uh, welcome yeah, come on in here, buddy. Hey, I'll drop in real quick. Uh, yeah, here, here he is. Welcome. Oh, How are yeah. you doing, my friend? Doing well. How about yourself, sir? Doing as well. Exceptional. Uh, thank you for <laughs> coming in on such short notice on this. So, as I was just saying to JD, is that the opportunity to for the public you know those who even say that they're awakened etc i don't i would like to have it even on my channel is an opportunity to get to know who these individual divine ones the demons if you want to i think that it's almost kind of slang but let's just call them for who they are they they're daemons mm -hmm. yes and the, you know again plenty of platforms out there where they'll tell you about Michael Gabriel and all the rest of those L's uh but no one hears the other side of the L's this is true uh, this is something we um we're trying to spread awareness about you know because like you said not many people talk about it no um so yeah I'd love that opportunity I think people great. lost their heads for talking this kind of stuff indeed indeed. <laughs> indeed I mean you know how dare you speak the truth you know and that's why they want to silence us it's exactly. it's and so my my feeling is this is that fear is generated because of ignorance mm. yes I and mean, that's all it is ignorance and indoctrination yes I mean, think about it why do we feel this the way we do about demons when you hear the word demon Right. It's yeah. from Hollywood. You know, it's from the church. Um, if you think about it, you have no other point of reference other than that. I mean, it, it, it's one of the things that uh, when I was in the uh, ministry, that if you wanted to really get your crowd riled up, talk mm. about demons. Yes. And then talk about their influence. Uh, you know what's going to you're going to going to get you're going to get a prayer line you're going to get people yep. coming up for salvation and they open up their checkbooks yep oh because we got to fight this oh yeah you got to fight it man <laughs> yeah and, and and you know i step back now and i look but you never told me what he actually is doing you know and i think that that it's time that in in all fairness that we give voice to these magnificent beings. I mean, they're vilely hated for a reason. Yes. Well, it can't stand up to everything that we have at our um, disposal right now. And that's the reason why, you know, it's, it's a shame. Do you think that, that somewhat we're seeing today in the world, uh, you're just a question for yourself, is that they're, they're losing the grip on the narrative on this side. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, indeed. Yes. Yeah. And, and so they're going to play, they're going to play nasty. And that's why, you know, when oh, Lilith yeah, visited I mean, me, go ahead. All these entities are just scapegoats for. Yeah. Oh, I was, yeah. I was just wrapping that up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, she told me, she said, I'm going to give you a platform. Mm. And I said, all right, fine. I haven't, again, of all the, the encounters I've had, I haven't found fear to be part of the equation. Not at all. Not at all. I'll be candid with you. It's more curiosity. That's really what uh, projected me on my own path here. I actually came from a Christian background as well. Um, and so what really launched me into doing what I'm doing now is just the, the pursuit of truth. I'm like, okay, who, who really are these entities and whatnot? What's, why are we here? What's the purpose? What's, you know, 
And that that strive for truth has really landed me where I am now. And man, my world's just imploded. <laughs> you know, would you say your life is more enriched? Indeed, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and I feel more. I mean, my perspective of the world has changed. My perspective on people has changed. My perspective on entities and the spiritual realm has changed. Um, it's, you know, I, I feel. How like do you see that now, Yerk? I'm curious. How do you that? see that, that, that the spiritual realm where that realm and this realm interact? Because it's, it's heavily controlled, it very is. valuable. It is. Yeah. Um, it's. And it's, it's something that uh, I think we all need to work towards. I mean, it's, it's set in place for a reason. Like uh, JD was, I was over in the background listening. <laughs> he was dropping. Um, but it's something we have to work towards. I mean, it's not given to you on a silver platter. You know, no. there's that bail for a reason. You know, you have to, you'll get what you seek after so long as you seek it. Right. Um, but man, it, it's, it'll change everything in your life. And it's so fundamental to your own being. And when you realize who you truly are, um, the purpose for you being here, etc. I mean, it'll change your whole perspective on everything. Any fear that you had, fear of death, etc. goes out the window. Um, Have you, you ever felt threatened in, in your encounters? I haven't. I will say that there were times that I felt a little anxious. Mm -hmm. um, actually, someone asked me that, uh, not that long ago in a live that I did, um, I actually had a lot more fear before I even got on this path because yeah. I had paranormal experiences and stuff as a kid and whatnot. And I had fear, you know, I had fear based on the, the preconceived notion of who they were or her, you know, any entity outside mm -hmm. of Yahweh or whatever was. Um, and that fear was the unknown. They're going to come get me. Yeah. 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 But once yeah. I, you know, once I finally made contact with these entities and found out who they are, I mean, my fear went out the window. You Do know, you, I, would you subscribe to the the thought, Eric and, and JD and, and Nina is you as well? I found I had to make for myself, it was pretty much a public declaration. I mean, yeah. I made the contract in front of the public. Mm -hmm. And what I was told, it, it's that price that it's required to be able to enter into the unspoken realm. Absolutely. It's a conscious decision that you're making. You know, we have um what i would call the psychic filter which is basically um energetic blockages that you've created self-limiting beliefs and stuff like that you know kind of like what you'd call the inner critic that's been formed by authoritative figures you know church members etc you know whatever you've been indoctrinated by and that really clouds your judgment it clouds who you're you know how you view things etc and part of the struggle is peeling that back obliterating that yeah and making that conscious decision, this is what I'm going to do, helps. That really just puts that in the back seat, you know? So, yes, I, th I think that's very important. Well, um, I found it to be cleansing uh, for myself. Yeah. And then I had to basically build from ground zero because you carry with us, as you just mentioned, it's that fear. Yeah. I mean, Christianity is based on fear. Absolutely. Well, that's... <laughs> yeah. They want you to be afraid in every way, right? Because then they can control you and get you to do whatever they want you to do. If you're as long as you're afraid, it's fear and control. And man, yeah. that goes deep. That really goes deep. That that programming, mm. because you question everything. I mean, you're afraid of anything and everything. I mean, I used. Didn't to Paul write that it's a fearful thing to be in the presence of the Lord? Yes, I believe so. We have to be gone. Wait a minute. I thought this son of a bitch was there to love me and hug me. <laughs> <laughs> now you're telling no. me what? And then you're I, supposed to be guilty as well. You have to be guilty for all these mm. little natural desires that you have. You got to feel guilty about Repress that. yourself. Repress yeah. everything that you are. And, 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 and I will tell you that working with these infernal divine, there is no judgment. There is no judgment here. Mm. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> well, it's, they don't think like humans do. You know, yeah. they think, they, oh, they see good things, point. They see things in a grander scale than we can possibly comprehend. Hmm. I mean, no matter how hard we try, we can't even comprehend the entirety of the divine. They see things in a different light and they wow. want you to go in and look at every aspect of who you are. 
I mean, King Paimon also said um, to become everything that you are, you have to be um, uh, to become all that you are. You have to become everything that you are. And I know that sounds kind of redundant, but if you think about it, you have to go through every um, point of who you are um, and really discover what lies deep beneath the psyche and everything. That introspective look you've always been looking for and wanting. Um, they provide that and they help mm. that. Um, and as far as what you were talking about <laughs> with Yahweh being fearful and, you know, or being, you know, scared of everything yeah. and stuff like that, you know, with these entities, I've never felt more loved. Yes. Oh my God. I mean, they mm. were so compassionate, yep. so loving and, you know, like a cheerleader, you know, just mm -hmm. like, yes, you've got it. You're figuring it out. You're good. You know, <laughs> Yeah. you know, <laughs> it's, Wow. you feel it that it's energy. the whole total opposite <laughs> right it's the whole opposite thing dude like mm -hmm. who would have thought <laughs> you know my 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 yearning of my spirit is to you know i want to do an interview with lucifer yeah yeah i yeah and i don't see it i don't see lucifer as a he i see it as she but neither either way to me, I can't think of a better gift to have is to be able to sit down with this being that has been accused of everything, but yet at the same time, it carries all the knowledge. And I'm going, okay. I mean, but that would be my goal. I'd like to add something on this, and you gentlemen and, and Nina as well. I'd like to see, wouldn't it be amazing to be able to channel the these Infernal divine ones, as you say, GD. I love that. That is just really cool. I mean, listen, the way I look at it, the Bible was channeled. Mm. And, you know, I've read Anton, Anton LaVey's book, The Santanic Bible. I've done a whole series on it here, read it word for word. And it still tells me that I, I, I get the knowledge, but it's always from a Kabbalistic perspective. Those are all roads that lead back to Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And there's my problem. I, I and, and, and why I find the library Lilith was so refreshing. Lilith finally had to tell her story about who this character is. Mm -hmm. So I have a duty. I'm a God. I know that. Mm -hmm. I have a duty that if I have such knowledge of this side, then I have a duty to myself to understand the other side of that knowledge, then, then I can make a decision. Absolutely. And I don't think it's A and B. I think they're C, D, E, and F. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's just mine. So what I'd like to propose, gentlemen, is an opportunity to where there can be uh, even a forum like this, or even individually, however, what, that where there can be opportunities, if it's on your channels, it, uh, just let me know of how we can begin to understand who these beings are. Um, and I'm sure they would even make their presence known as to what they'd like to say. Oh, oh indeed. yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, he, he and I both like channel like no one's business. So especially this guy. So yes, we can definitely do that. And I know we're both interested in that. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah. You're, you, what you just told me, and ladies and gentlemen, hey, tr Soul Tribe, everyone in the chat listening to this, Yurk, you said something. They're not human. They don't think like us. Mm -hmm. They have a, a whole different perspective. And when you approach these beings, when you're you're approaching them in this vein, when it they're you you can't have any veins at all. Yeah. No, no, no boundaries on this. They don't fit into your box. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're guests, is the way how I look at this. And um you know, you have to be respectful and, and that's just common sense. And, and one of the things that I really love that I wanted to mention with this is like, you know, not having human concepts is that they do promote and allow you to begin to live your life without those 
limiting human beliefs and concepts and ways of acting like pettiness and stuff like in your relationships and that little stupid argument crap that you always want to bring up and hold on to that's real petty and real stupid and shallow like they don't have time for that and and they mm -hmm. remove those kind of bull crap ways of acting and being from your life because it doesn't serve you it doesn't serve the people you love it doesn't serve this world at all being a petty human dumbass and like they show you that they show you that and like no live like this baby you don't need to act like that and act like a child you know and like a lot of us grown adults act like children and they will <laughs> you know no offense but we do and and so they will help you to grow up <laughs> and to get a pair and to also just treat people right you know and and like yeah it, it, a lot of it is unorthodox sometimes and it may not make logic sense but if you lean into it it feels right and then you know that oh wow yeah I was not I wasn't really in alignment with who I actually am spiritually and that causes a lot of like pettiness and resentment and a lot of like human things that we really love to perpetuate you can let go of all that stuff and operate in a whole entirely elevated way you know yeah. I contend mankind doesn't know those ways I mean you look at today, virtually all the leaders in the United States government proclaim to be Christian. Mm -hmm. They serve a God that they do not understand, they do not know, but yet exhibit his traits. And all I see, go ahead. You're, oh, I'm sorry. I would say that there are a few in the government that do know who Yahweh is. I would agree with you on that. <laughs> uh, my uh, rephrase that statement. There's a vast majority of them, but the world leaders themselves proclaim uh, allegiance to this God. Mm -hmm. Yet, what we see in the world is pain, suffering. Um, so, don't tell me that Satan, Lucifer, is this dark force, uh, because by their very testimony, they're liars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're feeding that entity. Yeah. The pain and the suffering and the war. They Bingo. know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. They are feeding their bull crap God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just reading. So if we're going to, if we, if it's going to get to a showdown, then I say, bring it on, but we got to know what the other side is about, mm -hmm. not through the constructs of Hollywood, not through the constructs of fiction. I think it's time that if there is ever a time, then this is that time mm -hmm. where we can bring out this information uh, unafraid, unfiltered, and say, all right, this is what the other side is about. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I've seen more adultery in churches than I ever saw in any uh, Santanic meeting. I can, I can tell you one thing right now. The people that are in our community, they don't hurt children. They don't molest people. They don't rape people. They don't murder people unjustly and hurt them and cause pain and suffering. And all of this sick stuff, which you would think that's what we're doing, right? Because that's what they tell you we're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's a joke. And that is like, it hurts me, man. Like, do you know how many people come after us calling us a lot of these horrible freaking things that the things they're actually doing in reality that we have nothing to do with and stand against with everything that we are but yet we get labeled that daily <laughs> yeah i had i had i had someone tell me recently they said well listen those people back there in the you know back in the middle ages and 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 the crusades and they 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 were ignorant and, and that doesn't represent our God today. Right. And I'm going, <laughs> but you built your church on the blood of our species. Of innocence. The blood of innocence. <laughs> come on. I mean, I must have come from a long line of occultists. You know, I don't know if this is my umpteenth time through, but apparently you it, it says that, you know, you gravitate back to what's that which you really are. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, you're you're yeah, yeah. that Steiger that, that that channeled that information from Lilith. You know that's you, brother. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty heavy stuff, wasn't it? I it mean, is you know, heavy stuff, yeah, man. Like, you are nice. you yeah. are the uh, you are the savior for your entire bloodline, all yeah. the way back. 
What do you think about that one? You are actually Jesus Christ for your bloodline and your people. All of us are. That's a real deep one. I, I'm Hard there. one to freaking digest. But yeah. yeah, Abaddon will show you. It's like, you know, <laughs> it's like, come on, man. <laughs> Let's get this yeah, thing it's done. A lot of responsibility. It's a lot of responsibility and a lot of energy to have to contend with. But that is what our ancestors and our bloodline are counting on, you know, they chose us to be here right now for all of this. Yes. It's a tough road, but it's worth it. The, the interesting <laughs> thing is that they just announced uh, a mothership hovering over whatever it is. Well, Whoa. that is going to be the beginning of the end of the Vatican. Cause now they can uh -huh. no longer uphold the story. Yeah, dude. I, oh, I, I called wow. that one on TikTok about uh, six or mm -hmm. weeks ago or so, and I told everyone that it's coming. The truth yeah, is getting ready coming. to be revealed, and it's going to blow the roof off of the entire Western world. I mean, the entire world in general. Yep. Um, what's going on in the basement and what's been happening, we don't even have the slightest clue, actually, but you're getting ready to find out there is something that is housed down there. It yes. is about to, yeah. <laughs> a lot of things down there that's going to be very, very interesting. Their <laughs> skeletons are literally going to be coming out of the closet. That's yeah. Well, yeah. I'll bring that's the Mandela effect, enough. effect, just like, right. Lucy, you've got a lot of freaking <laughs> explaining to do. Right. <laughs> yes. You've been seeing Jose, eh? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh man, this hour went by like that. We listen. Uh, I would really, uh, I'd like to really make this a reality. I'd like to be able to bring out that type of information that allows us to have the this group, particularly, and mm -hmm. maybe others who knows that where they can begin to have an understanding of who these divine ones are. Let us know their names. Let us know. Uh, I mean, I, I, I've got a deck of cards over here that can tell you all the angelic names. Mm -hmm. They got to have brothers and sisters. I mean, oh, yeah. that's, and I, I'd love to meet them. In fact, you know, I have a feeling that these people know how to party. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's all I got to say. A whole yeah. lot more fun, Wayne. Whole yeah, lot. Well, in the right way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they visit. I know there are a lot of them visit me and say they even want to pay admission to get inside my head. But, you know, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, folks, I hope you really have enjoyed this. We're going to make this happen. So, yes. Uh, both your and, and JD and Nina, since you were here at the uh, the birth of this, because every idea that's giving birth becomes its own egregore, mm -hmm. um, then I'd like to continue that energy uh, in building a knowledge. That's what we're here to do. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if we do it once a week, if we do it, you know, every other week, uh, if we pre-record it, uh, whatever, but I'd like to really make that happen. And that would be you, great. Mm -hmm. Well, then you have an open invitation. Okay. All right. Um, so, yeah. all right, folks, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, again, it's not your run of the mill, uh, <laughs> um, you know, type of information, but Hey, listen, you know, the only thing we have fear, isn't that what Churchill said? The only thing we have fear is to fear itself. So quit being afraid, you know, grow a set. You're either on top or on the bottom. I don't care. But, you know, wear it proud, say it loud and get to know who the opposition is. Absolutely. You, you know, they might informed. be your best friend. Yeah. You know, you can't make informed decisions if you don't have all no. the information. I mean, the, the, the other side, I know a lot of y'all in some really tough situations. Uh, they don't seem to be wanting to offer any help. I mean, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I got to say. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you all. Uh, just yeah. speak a uh, favor over us all and uh, stick with us. And uh, before we get out, uh, Nina, you you start. And then JD and Yerk, you just, I'll let y'all end up and uh, go ahead and take a couple of minutes, Nina. Yeah, well, it is hump day, so of course I will be going live tonight, 6 o'clock Pacific time zone, for a free message from Spirit, so go and check that out, and then I go live on Sundays as well, 6 o'clock Pacific, uh, every week, so go and check it out, links down in the description. 
Excellent. Excellent. And I'm going to have you back on because we we got some ground to be talking. That's all I got to say. Uh, JD and Yerk, thank yep. you for number one, Yerk stepping in. Yes. Uh, and, and, and I, 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 gave it, so it's, it's, uh, Rurik R. Rurik. R-I-C. Okay. My yeah. apologies. Yeah. Okay. Rurik Douglas. All right. yeah. No, it's okay. It um, may stick. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> so my channel on YouTube is called from the light of the darkness. And it says JD temple four, four, four beside it. I just added that, but it's from the light of the darkness. And, uh, my TikTok is JD temple four, four, four. Um, I'm growing like crazy over there and I didn't ever plan on doing that, but it is just something that's happening. And I'm, I'm rolling with it. Um, now, if anyone wants to get, if they, if you are interested in this path, and if you are really wanting to connect with these infernal divine, J.S. Garrett, our other brother that is, he's with his girlfriend right now, and Rurik and myself, we are doing a massive, massive group ritual tonight it's actually tonight uh we've been planning this and promoting it for a while now and this involves four infernal divines abaddon azazel belial and asmodeus those four entities are coming together now there we are offering them spiritual sacrifices we practice in the way that the ancients one did with burnt offerings that is powerful and it is important there is no evil going on here. This is ancient technology that we are putting into practice. I also use my own intimate offering along with these sacrificial offerings that we are making to these these entities. Um, All four of them bring very specific gifts to you in and of themselves. But when you bring all four of those energies together, along with the planetary alignments and conjunctions that are happening right now, with Aries, with Mars, with Chiron, Saturn's a little in there a little bit too, but basically it's all about like giving you that eye of the tiger, that freaking mm, to go out there and really live life and to like, like remove a lot of these limitations and clutter that's going on, not only in your head, but in your aura, in your spirit, that is all going to be washed away and allow you to actually begin a true path a true spiritual path. And if you want to sign up for that, go to lawlessmetaphysics.com. You can get your seat there. There's a lot of additional things as well. This will change your life. I'm not even going to try to sell you anything because I don't need to. Okay. Lawlessmetaphysics.com, Lawless Metaphysics on YouTube, which is his channel and J.S. Garrett's channel. Uh, which you can see the banner behind me. Um, You can check that out as well. My website is jdtemple.info. I do have limited uh, services there. Most of my services are not on my website. You've got to email me to inquire. I can really help you with just about anything you want from divination to virtual services, healing, um, channeling, oracle and tarot, you name it. I got you covered, jdtemple.info. My email is jdtemple.info at gmail.com. And uh, Rurik, he'll tell you too, uh, all about his things as well. Yeah. Well, I think you pretty much covered it. Lawlessmetaphysics.com. <laughs> yeah. 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 Find out more information there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And well, actually, I'll... Rurik will be doing some channeling tonight, too, as well. So if you're interested in channeling, signing up for that, right, and then getting him to do some private channeling from these beings, mm-hmm. there's an opportunity tonight. So mm-hmm. Indeed. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank this you. is cool, yeah. folks. This is cool. Mm-hmm. This is... Uh, this is a uh, new pastors. I mean, there's just no doubt about it. I mean, you know, people like being in one part of the woods, but then when you walk to the clearing, you're going, hmm, this is different. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, and so Wayne, um, you know, if it's okay with you and you can just, you can discuss this later if you'd like, I would like to include you in this as a honorary guest, my guest. I, I always, I choose one person every single time to include them without having to, make any type of exchange this exchange right here and you allowing us to come and share this time with you that is all that is all i need and i would love to include you in that well thank you you the video it's something else brother yeah (laughs) yeah all right i don't know if i can attend tonight one but uh uh that is y'all just 
You just let me know. There's no. All right. That you just uh, it, it, it humbles me and go to sleep is all you have to do. We'll take. OK. It. All Thank right. You. Then then uh, far out. I mean, awesome. like, you know, I'm all for it. Cool, man. Wow. Uh, we could literally now it's one, 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 one across the board. So, you know, don't tell me they're not listening. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's it's all divinely guided. That's all I got to say. You know, it's like, all right, I I like this. All right. Well, much love everybody. Uh, Hey, spread the love. That's, that's the idea. Oh yeah. There's a world of darkness and we can show that the world, there's a different light. Mm-hmm. And it's one that is healing. It's one that does bring mm-hmm. unity. Uh, it doesn't have to be under this one. So that's all I got to say. Much love, everyone. Y'all stay with me as uh, I ex- 